it's Paola. Welcome back to my art and graphic design channel. Okay, guys, I'll be brief. Let's jump into the tutorial part of the tutorial, and then I'm going to just create after I explain. So if you're just here for the tutorial, let's get into that, and then I'm just going to make stuff, and it's kind of a design with me. Quick and easy, this tutorial is on how to create 3D posters or inflate your objects in Adobe Illustrator. Okay, so jumping into the tutorial, this is definitely my style type of tutorial video, which a lot of people say I explain things clearly and easily, so hopefully that will come across. So what you're going to do is open your Adobe Illustrator file, and then you are going to basically add whatever object or type or anything that you want. For the purposes of this, I am using type because I love working with type and I think it's such a fun way to explore typography with the inflate tool. So if you're going to create a 3D poster like I'm going to show you, you're going to need a background that is actually the rectangle shape because that will then inflate as well and then you're going to need your text on top so the thing about the text on top is that you're going to need to create outlines don't keep it as just text and you can do that just by going up to type and hitting create outlines on your type i then group together my type on top and my rectangle behind this will ensure that it just inflates together as an object so once you do all that, that's just the little prep part. You actually are going to make it 3D. And this is really simple, guys. What you do is this. Highlight the shape that you want and then go up to effects. Under effects, go into 3D and then click on inflate. So it's going to pop up. It's going to inflate it. It might start acting a little slow, but that's just how the program goes. So it looks a bit weird at this stage, but it does inflate it and you can start seeing like how it's going to look 3D. And then from there, you can kind of just tweak. So the depth would be how much it's kind of indented in and then you can just kind of play around with like smoothness and roughness and where the lighting comes from it can come from you know the top right the top left you know you can just change a lot of different things on here and i think that's what's fun is that you can explore it, it doesn't have to be perfect every single time um but i like to do a top right shadow like light coming from the top right and for this one i smoothed it so I took down the roughness and I brought up the metallic just to see what that would look like and then I just explored you can always play around with seeing a different final result so I do another one after this that's not metallic just the normal one to show what it would look like just inflated um, but yeah this is just the fun part really and the last step with this is that it's actually not finished this is not what it looks like when you're playing around in this section you actually have to hit this little button to render it so once you render it that's what it looks like and you can change it from there as well if you're not liking what it looks like and there you have it that's the metallic one it looks so amazing i actually haven't even played around with metallic before doing this video so i thought that was fun but yeah this is pretty much what I did and how I did it. I don't think that the numbers specifically matter. I think it is about playing around and figuring out for yourself, like all those depth and whatever numbers. 10 is usually the standard. It, it does it pretty simply when it just does it automatically. Um, you don't really need to tweak as much as you think. And then here is the second one I did. Like I said, I didn't do the metallic. I didn't change like too many different things. It's mostly the standard when you just hit inflate it creates this and I think it looks really good. Okay, so that was the tutorial part of the tutorial video, but the rest of this video is just gonna be a chill design with me type of vibe and I'm just gonna create a couple more things with this 3D inflate and I think it looks so amazing and really elevates my work. Especially with type, I love doing the letters and I think it's a really fun way to just showcase a letter, especially if you like created the letter yourself. Um, so I'm just going to make something a bit unique and kind of showcase it. I hope you excuse that I will not be here for the next few minutes and it's just gonna be a nice hang.
Okay, everyone, that was the video. I hope you enjoyed it. I hope it helped you if you were looking to learn how to do this. I like to explain things very clearly and just show that anyone can do it, anyone can try it, and you can just make up your own stuff, you know? And that's what I think is fun about design. Just make it up. Guys, we are so, so close to 100K and I'm freaking out. So please subscribe and please like this video and I will see you in the next one. Okay, bye!